All right. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? This is Dr. King. I am coming to you from 800 Link. I have published a um, poll this morning. I apologize, guys. I was trying to see if I could move it around because it's like sitting right in front of my face. <laughs> but um, today's topic is going to be deep fakes. And We've all seen them. Remember, um, cybersecurity topics through the end of December. So deep fakes are something that we have all pretty much seen. We just didn't know what they are. So without further ado, let's get going. So deep fakes caught my attention when I started doing a, um, a lesson that TI Communities wanted us to do on cybersecurity. And I was like, hmm, that is really interesting. I have never heard of deep fakes, but um, I realized that I've seen them several times on TV or whatever, just did not know what they are. So deep fakes are designed as synthetic content fabricated for deception, which can even In the 40, late 40s and older. Remember, um, oh my goodness, I cannot remember his name now. Uh, it was a computer generated dude that used him. I think Coca Cola or somebody used him years ago. I literally had his name on the tip of my tongue and I have just forgotten. My apologies. Uh, Max, I think it was called. But he was a computer generated man and it was, you know, back then technology was nothing where it is now. So you could tell that he wasn't for real. I think his name was Max, but uh, it was a computer generated male. And he talked and, you know, he came up on the computer screen and talked. And I think Coca-Cola and Pepsi and some other people used him um, to market their drinks and things like that. Well, if you think of that, then... Um, Deep fakes, that was a very rare, most basic form of a deep fake. Deep fake is where someone can take, say, my face or my voice, and they can take another video or another picture of somebody else's face and or voice, and they can remove technologically my face, cut. So you would hear me, but you would see somebody else's face. That's kind of like a rudimentary form of um, of deep fakes. But deep fakes are basically a form of artificial intelligence is what they use. And and you've seen them. If you've seen uh, the, the commercial as of late where they show the little girl that says, I am the face of so many millions of hungry kids in America. Well, that's kind of a deep fake thing. Artificially intel uh, artificial intelligence created little girl, but she's created out of different uh, aspects and, and, and things that are fed into the program code to create her. And that's kind of like a, a, an issue, you know, kind of a form of a deep fake as well. But what makes a deep Most things are created. There are very few things that are just automatically created to do wrong. Most things are created with good intentions in mind. And deep fakes were just that. But once again, somebody figured out a way to use it for for bad. Not good, but bad. And so you can you'll see uh deep fakes are used with social media a lot to get people to think a certain way, you know. Um they're trying to sway people's minds as far as a certain brand of soft drink or clothes or shoes or food, elections, politics. You know, defects are used for everything. They're used to market everything. Defects can be used to make somebody think that someone likes them or doesn't like them. You know, it could be used for many ways, both good and bad, but it's getting so much attention now because it's been used for bad. So, in a nutshell, deep fakes are used to get someone to believe something that is not real or true. And like I said, they may take a video of uh, your face or take a recording of your voice. And um, a lot of times you see these videos where they have the, the very basic, this is a cat. Watch my cat play with the thing. You know, it's just all these different videos now that have that, you know, recording on it. That's a form of deep fake. You know, but what they're you what um, scam artists and things are using and hackers and things are using 
they are taking voices and and they'll type something and it comes out and you hear your boss's voice and it may say, go up to my office and unlock my computer. This is the passcode and someone's going to call you and you give them that code. I mean, now, of course, somebody with good sense wouldn't actually do that, but that's kind of like kind of what's going on. Deep fakes are being used to scam people out of money. It's being used to um, sway people's minds when, it, you know, when it starts talking about politics and, and uh, it can be used to, to bully people. I mean, deep fakes are being used to do some of everything. And, and the sad part is when you are not really careful and not really paying attention and just moving along and everything's trying to be on demand. And we now have this generation of kids that are on demand because their entire life slowing down enough and stopping to really investigate and listen and watch and, and just, hey, is this right? Is this not? So that's why deep fakes are starting to take off so quickly. And that's why they are becoming problematic because it is being deep fakes are actually taking advantage of the fact that we are an on-demand society now. And most people want things quick. They want things quick. They want things quick. And so they're not stopping to say, hey, is this really real or not? That's how you're getting all of these, you know, you ever seen, you know, the ads on social media where they're telling you, you know, order now, you know, you got 10 minutes to order now. Well, some of those things, they're just playing on your, if you don't order now, you're going to lose it. But with deep fakes, they're taking that mindset and that, that marketing uh, psychology and they're using it for bad. They're, like I said, saying your husband or wife calls you or you think it's your husband or wife and they'll say, hey, honey, I need you to go to the store. I need you to go to the ATM and withdraw like a thousand bucks and bring it to me. I'm over here at such and such house. Well, that's your husband or wife's voice. And sometimes you may question, sometimes you're not because it's your husband. If you're, you know, you're really a good wife or husband, you're still going to be like, excuse me. But for some people, they don't. They just do exactly what they're being told by their loved ones and they go do that and then they find out and, you know, after everything has happened, they've lost a thousand bucks. Hey, this, that wasn't my husband or my girlfriend or my wife or whatever. So deep. Advances, deep fakes are advancing as well. It's, it's getting very hard. If you look like CSI, like CSI Cyber, y'all remember that show that used to come on? They used to talk about deep fakes. Um, I remember an episode or two where they talked about deep fakes, but um, social media, people are using deep fakes to, to, to fake having friends on their friends list, um, using deep fakes to become influencers. They're lying about who they are. You know, you have to be a little technologically savvy to be able to do these things. I mean, unfortunately, there are apps out there that create deep fakes. And once again, people are using them for bad, even though they're supposed to be meant to be used for good. But um, um, deep fakes are being used really, really big on social media because people, you know, they want to make you think that they're an influencer and they have over 14 million or whatever followers. And a lot of times about, I don't want to give them a percentage, but a large percentage of those are deep fake creation, created um, accounts, fake accounts, deep fake. And, and they're trying to make themselves out to be something that they're not. So you've seen deep fakes. You just didn't know what they were and you didn't pay enough attention or didn't care enough to research to figure it out. Cause at the end of the day, we really don't deal with things unless they affect us, whether directly or indirectly, but kind of close, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, we've seen deep fakes on TV. We just didn't know what they were unless it was an episode or a TV show that specifically talked about deep fakes and you're like hmm, that has caught my attention let me go out and research and figure out whether or not i know what deep fakes are and become and we all need to now that you know and now that i'm bringing it to your attention we all need to go out and research this more because it's becoming a big thing and we don't we neither one of us none of us want to become a victim of a deep fake and at some point we probably have and didn't know it okay so some ways that you cannot fall for a deep fake scam is to not just jump on something without thinking. Ask questions. Stop and ask questions. Is this really the person that they that they say they are, who they say they are? 
you see any shadows? Is there any glitches going on? Does it look like it's being, you know, being recorded? It's just being looped, you know, things of that nature. Um, listen for cues, you know, weird speech, a slurred, glitchy speech, you know, just it, it's y'all think I'm being funny because some people like, you know, you can tell this and that. Apparently you can't because people are falling for deep fake scams all the time. Okay. So don't, don't think that you, you can't be a victim of one because you very well could be, um, things like irregular speech patterns, things like glitchy movements. You know, sometimes you can rack it up to the internet being slow and sometimes it's a deep fake scam. You just don't know, but either way, how about you stop and say, let's investigate this and Hey, did you just call me and ask me to do this? Or how about you go see, go to your boss's office. Hey, did you just call me and tell me to do something? You know, ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. I can't say that enough. If you don't think something is right, it may not be. And the only way you're going to know whether or not it's right or wrong is if you ask questions. Okay. So, and trust your gut, trust your gut. If you can't, if you don't think it's right, it probably isn't, okay? Stop being so, you know, if I don't make a decision now, it's not going to happen and things are going to, you know, it's just going to fall apart and, and I'm going to miss out on the world. We've become such a society of, of thinking we're going to miss out on something if we don't. So quickly, and once it's gone, it's hard to get it back. Deep fakes play on that. Deep fakes play on your emotion. They play on your psychology to make you think that something is what it is not. So in, in just to put it bluntly, if you are not sure that a video you're watching is real, uh, what you're hearing is real, then stop and ask questions, okay? That's all I can say. It doesn't get any deeper than that. Sometimes it is just that simple. We just have to sometimes pay attention to simple and make it what it is. So once again, deep fakes are, are either videos or audio or pictures that have been manipulated for wrong, for harm. They, they It started out just like everything else as being used for good. You know, in AI, artificial intelligence is AI and AI applications and software. Okay, is what they do. Question, question everything. If you don't think something looks real, it may not be. Question it. If you don't think something, you know, you're hearing something that may not be real, question it, okay? Don't just jump into it because something says, do this now, you know, and they look like your husband, look like your little girl, look like your boss, or you hear your boss's voice, or you hear, you know, people calling fake kid voices all the time. There are people on the internet that fake kids, you know, they're showing themselves as a, you know, 16 year old, super fine young man. And it's a 80, you know, not 80, say or 45 old man, you know, just be careful, everybody. And so once again, research what deep fakes are for yourself and why they are becoming problematic. Okay. And so once again, I do not want to make these videos so long because I really haven't been sure what's going on with Facebook for the last three weeks. Sometimes it's been cutting off in the middle of my video and this has been an awesome presentation. I would really hate for stuff to cut off in the middle of me talking, okay? So I'm going to end this now and I just want to say it and stress it one more time. If you are not familiar with what a deep fake is, please go out on the internet and research it and use really good peer-reviewed research. You know, Wikipedia may have some information, but I wouldn't suggest going there if you think it's real, you know, don't, y'all know how to determine real websites from what fake websites, I would hope, but research deep fakes, okay? Research deep fakes and, and make yourself familiar with them. And on that note, I pray that you have a good day. Have a great rest of your week. It's starting to get cool outside. Cover up, keep yourself safe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.